Hi guys, welcome to Sugar Glider Diaries. I'm Kimberly. So where have I been? So I brought my tea, I'm gonna spill some tea and I'll give you an update on the gliders and some exciting future plans. The gliders are doing well, I'll show them to you. They need nail trims, so they're gonna scratch me all up, but that's okay. So here is Raven. Hi, baby, she's so sweet. She's still just the sweetest thing. She doesn't like to stay in my hand as much as she used to because now she's a total bra baby. So she instantly wants to go down into my bra. And Bruce is pretty much the same way. He is still just a sweetheart as well, but he is also a bra baby. Let's get him. He's also kind of a pouch potato, so he just wants to stay where he is comfy, so it takes me a minute to get him out of the pouch. There we go. There's Brucey. He's still doing great. He's my alpha, he's the alpha of the group. He's the biggest one. <laughs> okay. And then we have Pika and Bucky. So they're all doing well. Pika is doing well. She is still just a tiny little skinny mini. Balky has actually started to lose some weight and they both have a vet appointment coming up in a couple of weeks, two or three weeks uh, for their regular dental cleanings and exams. So we'll see how the, the dentist, the vet says they're doing with their dental health. Pika has been pawing at her mouth a little bit, but she's been doing that for quite a while. And it started shortly after she was already at the vet with a clear bill of health. So I'm thinking that her teeth might be, be a little bit sensitive to cold. There has not been any swelling or anything like that. It doesn't seem to hold her back from eating, but she's at this point missing, I think 14 teeth. So obviously she's gonna have ongoing dental issues. At Balky's last vet appointment, he actually had two teeth pulled um, that kind of fell out or were really loose when they did the dental cleaning. So it's good that we're staying on top of that. Okay, so that's the update on the gliders. For those of you who that's all that you care about. Uh, the exciting news is that I will be making more videos soon. So the reason why is because, and the reason why I tapered off from making videos this last, I don't know, six months, a year, has been because I have been overwhelmed with life. <laughs> Not in a bad way, but actually in like the best way. So my boys are getting to be older. Uh, they are actually at a stage where they, I feel like they need more one-on-one -on -one and uh, personal attention than I they had even a few years ago. You know, d different, um, getting together with friends, be taking them different places, helping them with school things, just being there to talk about things. So I have really had to prioritize that as well as my photography business. And my back started really bothering me in the summer, uh, the spring, summer. And so I actually cut back on my photography quite a bit and was going to massage therapy a lot to try to get that taken care of. Cause I was like, okay, I gotta hurry and get better so I can get back into photography. And then I got to thinking about it and praying about it. And I just felt like the Lord was basically like, you know what, maybe you should consider starting a new chapter and cutting back on your photography. And I was like, oh, but photography is our vacation money. <laughs> Jesus, photography is our vacation money. Like he doesn't know. Anyway, we've been having this conversation, you know, Jesus and I. Then in October, I, you know, I've been on TikTok for my sugar glider content and to try to bring people to my YouTube channel. And I, we, I made a random video about a clutter game that I was starting with my family and it went viral and we got 14 million views on that video. And that kind of started us down this path of my family being involved in my TikTok. It's really been great for my boys specifically. Uh, it's really kind of brought them out of their shell a little bit. Well, Dom didn't need any help being brought out of his shell, but he does have a stutter and it's really helped kind of build his confidence that 
he doesn't have to be perfect to still be himself and to still come across in a funny way, the way he wants to be presented. He's kind of a perfectionist, kind of has a little bit of, you know, some OCD tendencies. They both are ADHD. And then Dalton is just at that stage. He's almost 13. And he has kind of coming into himself and his sense of humor. And he's gotten really grown up looking. <laughs> And anyway, so we've all been really enjoying doing those TikToks as a family. And we've created, I've created quite a few different games. We had, first we had the $100 Clutter Challenge. Then we had Clutter Wars, which was like a board game. Then we had Clutter Check. And now we're doing, uh, let's see, the Clutter, the Helpful Clutter Picker Upper. <laughs> That's the current game that we're doing. And we're documenting all of that and mixing in just other candid, fun stuff as a family. Just editing this video and I realized I didn't really explain kind of why we're doing all of these different clutter games. And the long and short of it is that I and the boys, not really my husband, believe it or not, but we all needed help uh, incentivizing ourselves and getting ourselves in good habits, picking up after ourselves, putting things away. It was really bothering my husband that the house was kind of messy all the time and so I wanted to make a fun game out of it and a way for it to be something we could do as a family that was positive and fun so it's really really been a huge game changer for our household it's really reduced a lot of stress and anxiety just from having clutter all over the place all the time and getting rid of that just helps your mind think so much clearer and it's really developing great habits for the boys for their future marriages and, uh, you know, future roommates and things like that. So it's been really, really great. So if you are interested in doing that, be sure to go to my TikTok. I have playlists for each game to see if there's one game or maybe two games that might work well for uh, you or your family. Anyway, back to the original video. So we actually are starting another YouTube channel that will be more based around our family's vlogs and just maybe challenges, trips, things like that. And uh, maybe kind of podcast style stuff. I'm not really sure exactly what that's gonna look like. Uh, and I'll put the link in that below if you're interested in seeing that. But all that to say, as that kicked off, I really started focusing on trying to grow that. And it's grown to a pretty decent size. Um, we have, I think, 160,000 followers on TikTok now and we're starting to make a little bit of income so I thought you know what instead of going back to photography I'm gonna press pause on that I don't know for how long and really focus on YouTube and TikTok and social media and see if we can pay for our family vacations that way. All that to say I will be making more YouTube content because I now don't have my photography business and I have a few videos, you, um, sugar glider videos that I really wanted to make. And I want you guys to comment below on what videos you would like me to make. I've touched on pretty much every topic. There's a handful of things that I do want to talk about more in depth for our sugar glider care. And then we'll also be making, like I said, vlogs and more family style content on that other channel, which, which is called the Dalton and Dom Show. Like I said, that'll be linked in the description below if you want. Oh, and we just got done going to Disneyland. So I, I might be doing a video on that channel about that. Um, I did a series of TikToks. I'm thinking about combining them into one YouTube video. So anyway, I hope you guys uh, are all doing well and I hope your gliders are doing well and I'll be seeing you around soon. Bye.